Get your band, everybody, right there. Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. Oh, I am very excited. I'm always excited to do the show tonight. Always excited to share the stage with you beautiful artists in front of these attractive people right here. But today, very important. <laughs> Today, we have not spoken uh, to tonight's guest uh, since, since COVID, right? The last oh. time I spoke to tonight's guest was during COVID. It's the one, the only, the great Rachel Maddow is going to be here tonight. She's got a new book. She's got a new book about how uh, America has battled fascism internally before. This isn't the first uh, rodeo. Mm -hmm. And I you know I thought I might ask her, I might ask her, how do we get out of this mess? <laughs> You should ask her that. You should definitely ask her that. It just came to me. It just came, that to, just you, huh? came wow. to me right now. <laughs> anyway, stick around for that. Folks, I spend most of my time smelting the day's finest news gold right over there, rolling into the most topical story planchette, then coining the punch under a thousand ton knuckle joint press to create the stately yet dazzling Nobel Prize medallion that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, folks, I wake up from crashing a stolen cigarette boat into a car ferry where I rip the hood ornament off a Buick Skylark and strap it to a rusted hubcap with a busted fan belt and perform an acceptance speech for a family of appreciative seagulls while holding the jerry-rigged junkyard trophy of news that is my segment. That is the only award. Meanwhile, is the only award I will ever need. <laughs> Meanwhile, in alcohol news, Absolute and Kahlua have released an espresso martini perfume. Perfect if you want to smell like you're about to walk into your own intervention. <laughs> Meanwhile, at a recent performance at Kennesaw State University, whose mascot is an owl, former outcast frontman Big Boy tried rapping while bringing out an owl. What's up? Hey, the freaks. Got the freaks. Hey, how y'all feel? I was like, how am I feeling? Not great, man. A second ago, I was chilling in a cardboard box with a delicious dead mouse. And then this guy drags me out here, and he's not even Andre 3000? <laughs> Meanwhile, in enormous infant news, Canadian parents welcomed the biggest baby in 13 years, a newborn son weighing nearly 15 pounds. And because it's a Canadian baby, his first words were, sorry about your uterus, eh? <laughs> Meanwhile, some dietitians are now saying the best way to curb sugar cravings might be just to eat as much as you want. Well, that's sound logic. That's why Gamblers Anonymous meetings always start with a game of craps. <laughs> Come on, baby needs unlimited shoes, so she'll stop craving shoes. <laughs> Meanwhile, the world could soon be flush with new heating options because sewage waste is now being seen as a reliable heat source for millions of homes in the Netherlands. Finally, the Netherlands is realizing the full potential of the Dutch oven. I wasn't sure. We weren't sure. We weren't sure about that one. Should we say Netherlands? Should we say Holland? Yeah, just say Dutch oven. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, a currency auction site reports that if you have a $2 bill lying around, it could be worth nearly $5,000 if, and this is important, you have 2,500 of them. <laughs> Other than that, it's just, it's just $2. Meanwhile, down in Florida, a bear swiped a $45 Taco Bell order <laughs> off a family's porch. Unbelievable. It's possible to buy $45 worth of Taco Bell? You can get a Chalupa Supreme and a bean burrito and a mango Fiesta Brisk and something called Strawberry Twists for $5.99. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure with the remaining 39 bucks, you can build your own Taco Bell inside a former bank. <laughs> Meanwhile, we here at Meanwhile Global Plastics and Unlicensed Driving Academy sometimes encounter so many interesting air travel related stories that we gather them in my Meanwhile subsegment, Flight Attention. <laughs> First up on Flight Attention. A 
A flight from New York to Belgium was forced to make an emergency landing after a horse got loose in the cargo hold <laughs> and started to run amok. Okay, emotional support animals are getting out of control. <laughs> Apparently, the horse broke free from its enclosure after the plane had ascended to 31,000 feet over Boston. Uh, this is your captain speaking. If you look out your window, you'll see beautiful Fenway Park. And if you look up the aisle, you'll see a guy in 4F getting a skull kicked off by a frightened Clydesdale. <laughs> Next up on flight attention. <laughs> in England, a commercial plane took off with two missing windows and several passengers noticed that the aircraft cabin seemed both colder <laughs> and noisier than usual. Uh, it's your captain again. Some of you may have noticed this plane is missing windows, but they are a nice distraction from the horse. <laughs> Thank you for flying Spirit Airlines. <laughs> we'll be right back with Rachel Maddow.